Hello, Mr. Kaczynski here, working through section F of IXL's eighth grade math skills. Today it's going to be identifying equivalent expressions involving exponents. This is just part one of two of this skill. All right, they start off pretty basic here. Um, basic rules here when we've got the same base, we keep the base and we add the exponents. So um, 3 plus 5 is 8, and, and there it is, 9 to the eighth power. So that's a pretty basic property of exponents. When you're multiplying numbers to the same base, add the exponents. Here's another one. Um, kind of goes with that. Different base, but same exponent now. So we're going to keep that base, and or keep that exponent, 6, and then multiply the bases. So that's 40 to the sixth power. Not to be confused with 40 to the 36th power. We don't multiply the exponents. Um, in that case, we only multiply the bases. All right, when you're dividing numbers of the same base, and these have the same base, 4 and 4, we subtract the exponents. Remember that that's a 1 right there. So 35 minus 1 is 34. This is 4 to the 30th, 4th power. You'd think from the examples I chose that the answer is always the choice on the far right. Uh, not the case. All right, and when you're multiplying a, or doing a power to another power, we multiply these powers. So 7 times 7 is 49. All right, so like I said, pretty basic start there. Oh, and this one, this one is too. It falls into that category. Same exponent, 3. Then we can go ahead and just divide the two bases. 6 divided by 3 is 2, and we keep that same exponent. There it is, last answer choice again. Then these start getting a little interesting where we have to at least combine a couple of these um, two properties. So I know that this is 4 to the negative 10th um, when I add the two exponents because I'm multiplying numbers at the same base. That obviously is not a choice that's given here, but that is equivalent to this one right here, 1 over 4 to the 10th. So we have to know our negative exponent properties as well. And then finally we get into some that I think are interesting because based off those that rule we talked about earlier when we have the same exponent and we're multiplying, we can go ahead and multiply the bases and keep that exponent, but 90 to the 6th power is not here. However, um, this right here, same base, 90 and 90, and when we divide the or when we're dividing numbers of the same base, we subtract the exponents. That's also 90 to the sixth power. So it's equi these these two expressions are equivalent, or should I say, uh, this expression is equivalent to this expression. Really, all four of the expressions that. Um, are either circled or written up here or all, all the same. Okay, this is kind of like in that category as well here. Um, I know that they have the same base, or sorry, the same exponent, so I can multiply the bases, 80 to the sixth power, but 80 to the sixth power does not show up, or does it? Because this expression right here is 80 to the sixth power, because we would add the two uh, they have the same base and we're multiplying, so you could add the 2 and the 4 to make 6 power. So now you're kind of combining uh, a couple different properties together to get the correct answer here, and I think that makes it a little bit more interesting. All right, what about this one? Um, I would think about this as 9 squared. 2 times, I mean, this is 1, or 2 plus 0 is 2. But again, I don't see 9 squared, or do I? Okay, this is the same as 9 squared. Um, if I wanted to rewrite that with a positive exponent, it would be the reciprocal of that fraction, and I could make the exponent positive like this, 9 squared. And last one here. Um, I guess because these have the same exponent, I would go ahead and divide the bases and then keep that exponent. Again, I don't see 4 to the negative third or even 1 over 4 to the third, which I know this is equal to, um, but this is four to the negative third because when you're doing a power to another power, you multiply those exponents, and negative one times three is negative three. So those are equivalent. All right, so again, that's part one of two of IXL's eighth grade math section F, identifying equivalent expressions involving exponents. Good luck with that, and let me know how it goes.